beast. And orange juice a day is not enough for this gay. Death boy, I need help. Today, of course, I bring you another haul. Honestly, my channel is just slowly turning into hauls. Didn't mean for it to happen, but I can't stop buying things. And I know you guys like these videos, so I'm giving the people what they want haul videos. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the two things that I bought from Thought Park. The first one being this pin badge right here, which was for Darren Brown's ghost train. I did go on the train and honestly, I thought it was going to be much scarier than it was. We hyped ourselves up and it, it was decent. It made me jump. I'm not going to lie. I did jump, but in terms of it being scary, it could be so much more scary. But I love Darren Brown anyway, so I got this pin for £3, I believe, because I wanted something to mark the occasion to say that I had done this ride, because it was hyped and everything, but honestly, it could have been scarier. Also, if you saw the vlog I did from Thought Park, you would have seen that I went on Saw for the first time. Now, that ride is something else. I absolutely love Saw. The first film, I haven't watched the rest because I kind of don't want to ruin James Wan's like first creation. But because I like Saw, I wanted a piece of Saw merchandise so I got a t-shirt that says wanna play a game and the reason for me getting this t-shirt was because as you go on the ride you see Jigsaw and he says to you wanna play a game and in my adrenaline rushed head I just went no I don't wanna play a game! All my friends laughed, it was funny and I played the game, I guess. I went on the ride. It was gross, but it, it, I would probably do it again. And this was £13, which for a theme park t-shirt isn't actually that bad. It's gonna be so much more expensive in Disney. Sticking with clothes, there is a Doc Martens outlet store near where I live. Basically what that means is I can buy Doc Martin products, but for much cheaper prices. The first thing I picked up was this shirt right here, which is just like a really light, flowy, Hawaiian-esque shirt, and it was £10. Usually I think they're like 25 30 I don't even know. And it is just so nice. I love it so much. It has a really small collar, it's buttoned up, and it's just so flowy and nice, and I'm probably gonna take it to America because of just how flowy it is. And then the other thing that I got from the Doc Martin shop for, I believe it was £15, is this dungaree dress. It's denim, I think. It has pockets, it has a little zip with a sideways pocket. Also, on the side, just here, is a little boot. In last month's haul, you'll have seen that I bought these sunglasses from Specsavers, and these ones are prescription lenses, so I can only wear these when I am otherwise would be wearing glasses. Now, because I have contacts as well, which I'm currently wearing, I can't wear these with my contacts, because they cancel each other out and I end up not able to see. So, I went to Primark and I picked up these glasses, which, when I got home, I didn't realise how accurately they look like my actual prescription ones. I mean, these were £2 and they're probably gonna break like any second, but I just wanted some that looked like these because these really suit me. And, I don't know, I feel like these suit me. I hope they suit me. Am I cool yet? Hey look, you can see my softbox and my camera. But yes, these were £2. The next thing I got was from Amazon and it is this pillowcase right here. And you're probably thinking, oh cool, it's a sequin pillowcase. That, that's, that's decent. But wait. It's a mermaid pillowcase, okay? It's one of the ones that you can write whatever you want. I've always wanted one of these. It was £6 and I was like, I want that. It didn't actually come with a pillow insert, but I had a black pillow anyway that I didn't really like that much so i just put a pillowcase on that and the other side is just a nice velvety kind of feeling thing but <laughs> it's a mermaid pillow i only picked up one dvd this month and it was this one which of course how could i not i've been wanting princess and the frog on dvd for so long because it's my favorite disney princess film tiana is my favorite princess i absolutely love this film i think enchanted is my second and then probably moana is my third oh no but moana is really good then from the works i picked up all i know now by carrie hope fletcher which is a book i've been wanting for so long because i started watching carrie last September I think and ever since I'm just like she is an amazing human being I'm going to see her in Adam's family in a couple of weeks very very excited for that But I wanted this book because I like her vlogs I like her musical side and I'm just like I want to read more of her thoughts and opinions about everything and it was on sale for five pounds So you can't really go wrong with that for Easter I asked my mum if I could not have chocolate and instead have something that I've been wanting for a long time and she was like yeah sure what do you want and this was what I wanted and 
Currently, at the time of making this video, I have seen Beauty and the Beast five times at the cinema, which is insane. It is the most times I've ever watched one film at a cinema, and honestly, I would go and watch it again. The last time I went to see it, it was a sing-along version. No one else was singing, but me and Rianne were going for it. And if you didn't know, I absolutely love Evermore. It is probably one of my favourite Disney songs now. It gave the Beast so much more character, and someone was telling me that the Broadway version, the Beast gets a song, so I need to listen to that. But just to have Evermore in this film, it just meant so much and the beast's animation and how the beast looked in this film was just so aesthetically pleasing to me so i was like mum can i have the beast as a pop vinyl and she was like yes there you go and i got him from the disney store and he was 10 pounds which for a pop vinyl is pretty decent considering usually anywhere other than the disney store or comic-con they're like 15 pound to 25 pound plus depending on if you have a special edition one so 10 pound and it's just cute and it's gonna go with the rest of my pop vinyls which are up there. Talking of the cinema, I went to a double bill screening of Guardians of the Galaxy and now that meant I saw the first film and then immediately after I saw the second film. I was sitting in the same seat in the cinema for a good five hours. It was insane. I absolutely love Guardians. The first one was one of my favourite Marvel films but now the second one has outdone it. I love it and on the day i'm making this video i'm going to see it for a second time in 4dx thank you i am so excited but because i was at the double bill midnight screening i was given a free poster hey but they gave me three because i was like dad can you pick me up a poster and the woman was like oh evidently they all want one so i now have three posters and i don't think my parents are gonna want one so i might give one to my brother and then i might put the last one in a giveaway when i get back off holiday because these are cool posters and honestly even though it was free and it didn't cost me anything and people are gonna be like why are you putting free stuff in your giveaway honestly who doesn't want this okay give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see one of these in a giveaway that's interesting right yeah no okay well yeah it's a good film i recommend it yondu is now one of my favorites <sighs> go and watch it. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's insane, it's fun, the music is obviously amazing and I just love it so much. And now we come on to the bit that you've all been waiting for, the Simpsons. I think I'm gonna start with the Clinton's Simpsons that I bought and I got the Muppets ones that I don't have. So I got Gonzo, Fozzy and Swedish Chef to go alongside, I think I have Animal and Kermit. Yes, I have Animal and Kermit. So I got these and they were buy two get one free, I think. So they came to £7 instead of £10.50 because they're £3.50 at Clinton's. And from the Disney store, my mum knew that I was trying to get all of the Beauty and the Beast collection and the only one that I didn't have that I could still buy from the shop was Philippe. So my mum got me Philippe to go alongside the Beast because... Philippe. All the ones from the Disney store are three pound and I also picked up these three here which is Mickey, Dumbo and Goofy all dressed up for the summer. Goofy is wearing a little rubber duck dinghy, Dumbo has got a little camera on his side and sunscreen on his nose and then Mickey is in a full-on scuba diving costume which is just so cute but I got these and they were three pound each. The last thing I got from the Disney store was the 30th collection Simpsons. I wasn't going to get them but then I was like they're not gonna be around again because they're the 30th anniversary anniversary ones and I just I want them so I got them. They were £20 for six and they're all in their original cast member costumes. They're just you got Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy and Pluto and I just love them. I love them. They're not coming out the box. I'm going to end this haul on probably my favourite thing that I bought this month and it was from one of you guys. You know who you are. Thank you so much for like even giving me the opportunity to buy this from you. After last month's haul of saying that I wanted to collect the Beauty and the Beast collection and the only one I didn't really have was Maurice, one of you commented that you had a spare Maurice that you were willing to sell me and I was like okay and got in touch and I bought it and he's here. I'm so happy. It cost £5 for whole shipping and the actual Simpson, which is amazing considering Maurice is probably like 50 quid as well on eBay now and I just I'm so thankful to you that gave this to me because I was just expecting to get a little Maurice in a little parcel and just be on my merry way but the person that sold him to me gave me this whole little envelope full of Disney stickers Disney cards and just a little note this is where everything is now it's in my my scrapbook that has all my memories in it and they're all here and they my pictures just fell out the bottom of them literally made my day i opened it up and when i saw that it wasn't just maurice i screamed and my mum was like what and i was like i'm just happy right now which is so nice and thank you thank you so much because now i have the entire beauty and the beast simpson collection and i got some cool stickers and i'm just so happy 
And that was everything that I bought in April. We are now in May. It is my birthday on the 31st. I'm so excited. I'm turning 18, which is terrifying, but I'm having a Disney themed party. There will be photos. There probably will be a video. I am ready. I mean, I'm turning 18, which means I'm getting older, which isn't good, but Disney. If you enjoyed today's video, then please do not forget to subscribe down below. Also give this video a thumbs up and click the bell on your screen so you're notified every single time I make a video. But until next time, Bye!